Now in part D we need to check the uncertainty principle and that means we need to find the standard deviation of x and the standard deviation of momentum. So let's start off with finding the variance of x which is just the standard deviation squared and by definition this is equal to the expected value of x squared minus the expected value of x and then squared. And then in the previous videos we found that the expected value of x squared is equal to h bar divided by 4am and this is just equal to zero. So you can see the variance is just equal to the expected value of x squared. So this implies that the standard deviation is equal to the square root of h bar divided by 4 a.m. So this is the standard deviation of x. So now we repeat the same procedure for momentum. So we find the variance of momentum, which is just equal to the expected value of momentum squared minus the expected value of momentum and then squared. And then we found that this is equal to am h bar, and then this is just equal to 0. And so the variance of momentum is just equal to this expression. And so that implies that the standard deviation of momentum is equal to the square root of am h bar. So this is the standard deviation of momentum. And now we can check the uncertainty principle. So if we multiply these two terms together, you can see that some of the terms, they cancel out. So you can obviously see that the a's, they cancel out, the m's cancel out. You have two h uh, square root of h bars, which gives you h bar itself. And then you have the square root of 4, which is just equal to 2. And so you can see that this product is equal to h bar divided by 2, which definitely does satisfy the relationship that this is always larger than or equal to h bar over 2. And in this case, it definitely is equal to h bar over 2. And so you can see that the uncertainty principle is indeed satisfied.